What are little known facts about ancient history? In ancient Rome there existed many forms of capital punishment for political dissidents, religious zealots, and common criminals. What made the Roman form of punishment particularly cruel and unusual, was that in many cases the execution also served as a form of entertainment for the lower class. Many times executions would take place in large stadiums or open areas that could accommodate many spectators. As the executions would take place, the crowds would cheer at the suffering of the person being executed. One of the most well-known forms of execution was crucifixion. In the Bible Jesus is sentenced to execution by crucifixion, which is why it's still so well known today. This form of punishment was generally reserved for enemies of the state and political dissidents. This was meant to be one of the worst forms of punishment, so it was saved for slaves, foreigners, and other less noble groups within Rome. Roman citizens could not be crucified, instead they would be executed by other means. Another well-known instance of crucifixion was at the conclusion of the Third Servile War. The war saw the famed gladiator Spartacus, lead a rebellion against the Roman Empire. After the defeat of Spartacus and his army between 5,000 and 6,000 rebels were captures. In order to make an example out of them, the Romans crucified all of them along the Appian Way, which was a road into Rome. Another common form of execution usually took place in an arena, like the Colosseum, and was called, damnatio ad bestias, condemnation to beasts. In this form of execution, a starved and abused animal, usually a lion or bear, would be set loose on one or multiple condemned criminals. The victims usually didn't have a means to defend themselves which made the fight rather one-sided. This form of punishment would often occur in combination with gladiator games, or other events, sometimes as the halftime show in between gladiator matches. Other methods of execution that occurred in arenas included, burning people alive, being trampled to death by horses, and beheadings. Crucifixions could also take place in an arena, as the picture above depicts. Poina Kale was yet another rather unusual form of punishment. Generally it was given to people who committed parricide, killing of a close family member. In this form of punishment the person was beaten senseless, or flogged repeatedly. Then they were thrown into a sack with a number of living animals, including dogs, snakes, monkeys, roosters, etc. The sack with all the animals inside of it would then be cast into a river or the sea and the person and animals would drown. So what did one have to do to find themselves being executed by one of these means? Well it depends on the person. A Roman citizen, was afforded much better treatment, and in general the worst form of punishment they could receive would be a beheading. This was not always the case, but generally Roman citizens were spared from humiliating executions like crucifixion, damnatio ad bestias, etc. Additionally for lesser crimes, such as theft, assault, etc., they could get out of it with a fine or just a warning. If the affected party was a slave, the citizen may not even be charged for a crime unless the slave's owner decided to press charges. A non-citizen, these people were generally in the middle of society and could get harsher punishment than a Roman citizen. Depending on the crime the punishment could range from a fine, to lashings, to crucifixion. Additionally, non-citizens could be enslaved as a form of punishment for a crime, and could be forced to become gladiators, laborers on public construction projects, or other laborers in work camps around the empire. A slave, slaves had it really tough in ancient Rome, and they were afforded almost no rights. A slave who committed a petty theft could see themselves sentenced to death, even if the crime wasn't incredibly bad. A slave who committed a worse crime, such as participate in a rebellion, would usually be crucified, as we saw in Spartacus' rebellion. Slaves pretty much never escaped with just a warning, and tended to get harsh punishments regardless of what they did. In contrast to most justice systems today, the Romans did not heavily rely on prisons to punish criminals. Prisons were mostly intended to be a holding area for criminals, while they waited for their actual punishment. Usually the Romans favored punishing the person by physical or financial means. If a non-citizen were to commit a robbery, they could get a certain number of lashings, depending on the nature of the robbery, and then continue to go about their life, rather than spend time in a prison.